I had no idea how thin I'd gotten. I couldn't eat another bite. Thanks for nursing me back to my old self again. And you had such a good idea, using Eustace as soil. I just hope he grows back to his old self. I'm hungry. Where's that pie servant weevil? Hungry! <laughs> Housework. Eustace. Uh, sorry, you had the pile upside down. <sighs> Arms in, shoulders back, bend over backwards. Arms in, Ow. shoulders back, Ow. bend over backwards. <laughs> Muriel, you folded me clothes too tight. What are you trying to do to me? I didn't do anything different. Just the usual wash and fluff and fold. Must be the new detergent I'm using. <laughs> Beautiful. A good sign to make an old woman look young again. Ain't nothing gonna make you look young again. So just give me my shoes. Here you are. Crabby. Eh, who needs them polished anyway? Just gonna get scuffed. Stupid as showering. <laughs> Muriel! What are you trying to do to me? Next time you wanna blow up my shoes, take them out back. But I shine them just like always. Maybe they change the shoe polish formula. There it is for you, Eustace. Steamed it and blocked it, like always. Thanks. Ah! Oh! 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 Ah! 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 Oh, no. oh. Must be something new they're putting in the steam. I ain't eating your food. What are you saying, Eustace? I'm saying that after I've been folded, blown up, and eaten by chickens, I gotta think you got something against me. I'd never do anything bad to you, Eustace. What do you call this? <sighs> Can't feel safe in your own home anymore. You don't think I'm doing anything mean to Eustace, do you, Curry? Mm -mm. I don't know, Ma. I think she's angry at me or something. I don't know why. I am the perfect husband. <laughs> Gotta go now. Oh. Eustace, are you okay? Nope. You probably loosened the chandelier when you were dusting it so it would fall on me head. Don't be daft. We don't even own a chandelier. You must have hung it up while I was talking on the phone. Well, I never. Ma! I got me a mail order degree in psychology therapy. And I'm gonna help you and what's her name work out your problems. Yes! Stupid boy. <laughs> Time for therapy. Let's get this marriage off the rocks and out to sea. How much is three plus seven? Huh? Why is the sky blue? Excuse me? Your marriage is dead as dust. Make sure you keep the house, because I gotta move out of that trailer. You shouldn't come into my home and upset things like this. That's it. I'm gonna go sit in my truck where it's safe. There's something very strange going on around here. Whatever you're up to, it ain't gonna work. Unless you cut me in for half. Come on, college. We've got better things to do than listen to such nonsense. Something very, very strange going on around here. Therapist, is. If only we had someone here who could really help. Hmm. You 
want to be a licensed therapist? A twit like you? Okay, don't get testy. I happen to be certified to certify. Just answer these questions and you'll have your license. Mm-hmm. One, how do you spell our time is up? Pay me lots of money. There's no Q in Cincinnati, twerp. Next question. If Johnny has three apples and Davy has two apples, why don't they just shut up and eat? Don't be shouting in me. We're after the same thing. Yeah, so what's your game, flimsy? I am the Widow McPherson, come back from the great beyond to destroy the marriage of the plump one. I just came back from the trailer park. I am getting revenge because the plump one's great, great aunt ruined my marriage by feeding my husband to the Loch Ness Monster. That'll bust up a marriage pretty good. That it'll do, and that's why I've come, to make the farmer think that his wife is trying to do him in. Me too. Yeah, fun, isn't it? Congratulations. You are now a fully licensed therapist. Word of advice. Just keep nodding and don't say anything. And so Western civilization crumbles. who only wants to make her husband happy. I see a woman hitting a guy on the head with a frying pan. Then I'll put Steel Ward in his underwear. How do you feel about a big hungry snake coming out of his toothpaste tube? You I like. How could you think I would ever try to hurt you? So we got the lobsters, the steel bull, the snake. We need anything else. I can conjure tiny fingernail-eating termites. Let's put them in a soap. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid boy. I guess it all started with me mom. She never liked me. Mm -hmm. Great. His fingers explode. Then he'll have to kick her out. OK, Muriel. I'll give you another chance. I'm so glad. Wait, I sense a disturbance in the force. Thank you, Dr. Courage. You're a brilliant therapist, Jar. Yes! Pathetic. Eustace, you stupid boy. I'm the only therapist operating here. Kick her out. She's no good for you. You don't know what you're saying. Yeah, I suppose you like the lobster she stuck in your pants. What? 